What you looking at, dingus? Your mom. Oh. She's so pretty. <laughs> Welcome back to those stupid reactions, idiots. I'm Corbin. I am Rick. The dick. Yes, Rick. My name, Lee, I might technically can be a dick. Rick the dick. <laughs> That's what I've always called him. <laughs> and uh, he falls on Instagram. It's the ground. Oh, 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 it's the ground. 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 Follow some personal YouTube channels. Links right down there for you. Up your hole with a Tootsie Roll. Whole bunch of different kind of content over there. If you're craving more content, yep, go check them out. Yep. Today, we are doing a movie review, as you've seen from the intro, because our stupid babies are fantastic and they make specific intros. Glorious for intros. None of those are made by me. No, or <laughs> me. I wouldn't yeah. even know what to do with that. Um, they're fantastic. Amazing. I know a lot of you love that because it's kind of like an Avengers theme. It's, it's I love it. That <laughs> and the intro, uh, interview one as well. Yeah. yeah, they're both like that. But anyways, today we're reviewing a Tamil film, but I know it's kind of like D divisive. It's originally a Tamil it's film, originally a and Tamil we watched film. it in Tamil. So it's a Tamil film. So, but we know it's popular in almost every language. Right. Hindi, Telugu, uh, Tamil, uh, but I know Hindi and uh, Hindi and Tamil are yeah. the two that are so, so popular. And I think it even did bigger with the Hindi dubbing than it did in Tamil, just well, because of the a number of people probably. who speak Hindi. Um, but obviously we don't like dubbing. Or yeah. anything like that. At so all. we watched it in the original Tamil. And we do that for a couple of reasons. One is to honor the original language that a film was made in, just for the fact of honoring that language. And number two, you miss some of the nuances of the original performance if you hear another actor as good as the dubbing may be. It just is not the same. Anyways, so, but Bombay, and I believe we are the first people on YouTube to ever review this film. Shut the front door, but really? It's also came out in 1995, so I mean. Really? Yeah. But like, wow. there was even like, I know Chalet is even older and there were other reviews of that one. Yeah. There had been no reviews from what I have seen uh, of this wow. on YouTube. I, I'm gen genuinely shocked. But it's uh, directed by uh, Mani Ratnam, who is from Delce. Uh, that's, I believe, where we've seen him before. A Hindu man and a Muslim woman fall in love in a small village and move to Mumbai where they have two children. However, growing religious tensions and erupting mm. riots threaten to tear the family apart. Great synopsis. Yeah, I wish they wouldn't put that second part me, 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 I, Yeah, granted, I don't know if they did in the original because it is such an old film, so most people probably knew about these events. Yeah. Right? Right. Because I believe it's based off of the, the riots. The actual riots. Right. Correct. Okay. Um, like Lagan, which apparently is not based off a true story. <laughs> <laughs> the legend of Lagan. <laughs> But yes, written, directed, and produced by uh, Mindy Ram, composed by the incomparable A.R. Rahman. Yes. And then uh, the main two, Arvind Swamy and Manisha Kurala. And I guess you can mention him as well. Um, Nasser? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The dad. The dad. Yeah. One of the two dads. One of the two her. dads. That was her dad. Obviously, this came out in 1995, and I'm pretty sure everybody in India has seen this film. Right. <laughs> Spoiler. Therefore, spoiler. <laughs> we're gonna assume, not, we're if gonna you haven't, buddy, but us. If you haven't seen it, I guess go watch it. Go watch come it. Back. Come back. I don't. I, it seems odd if you haven't seen it and you're Indian. Yeah. But there are probably some of you. So go watch it. Come back. You're about to be spoiled. Rick, yeah. Your initial thoughts. Uh, I didn't write a paragraph, but I really, I really could have. Mm -hmm. um, I only want to write paragraphs if it's this genuine thing that flows out. I, I'll, I'll say I loved the movie. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really good I did something. I started watching it, and because of the events of my day, I really wasn't in the right frame of mind to watch anything at that mm -hmm. time. You know, it was what one day of those... What day was it? I honestly don't remember. Oh, okay. I'm trying well, to remember I, what happened. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. There, I don't even remember which day it was, but I just remember things that happened that day that really had affected my mind, and I started to watch it because I knew we were going to review it. Mm -hmm. I got 15 minutes into it, and I stopped, and I went, I'm, I am not doing this movie the service it deserves. My mindset's not right, so I just watched something else just to enjoy, went to sleep, and I'm happy I did because the next day, watched it. Good. And I have very little to say about the film that I disliked. 
it's really small the number of little things yeah. I could point out and yeah, go yeah, yeah. that was a mistake and I think a lot of and I, I that I, was forgivable I really enjoyed it too I think a lot of the, the problems which we'll get into probably have to do with the age pretty much of the film and I, I'm guessing budgetary even at the time I don't know yeah. if he was as renowned as he is even, now even something like this even something like when they showed the two dead guys and the news said that the bodies were mutilated beyond recognition and I'm looking at the dead bodies and they're not mutilated beyond recognition mm. but I I was so in love with the movie at that point yeah. I thought you know what they would have to do with special effects in makeup to do what they said yeah. this is forgivable this is enough I, yeah. I actually really have a I not only have a very tender spot in my heart for the film, for a lot of reasons, I genuinely can say I love the film, but man, Manisha Corella, if that's how you pronounce your so name. So you liked her better than Dilse? Because <laughs> she was the uh, same. Unrecognizable <laughs> difference. Uh, night and day difference yeah, for so me. I'm guessing you like this film more than Dilse. <laughs> Huge! <laughs> if you haven't seen our Dilsey yeah. review, go watch it. Yeah, I didn't Dil enjoy that one. Dilsey is for me one of my least favorite films I've ever seen to come out of India. Uh, and <laughs> yes, so you redeemed himself, Mani Run. One hundred percent, night and day difference for me. Okay, so uh, we'll get into it. I, and she was absolutely delightful. Yeah, I thought everybody in the film did. They re everybody really, really was. Well. Um, I really, I really enjoyed the film. The um, it was interesting because when you started off, I actually kind of either I forgot or I didn't know that it had to do with the riots. Mm. And so I actually, for the first what hour or so, I was like, okay, so this is like a cute love story, right? Right? And it was like right. they were quirky, and they were. Oh, I was like, okay, adorable. They're, they're defying their family, right? Their families and all that kind of stuff, which is a whole other strange thing that we can't really understand too much here i mean we've seen stuff so we can understand it now but yeah. like the fact that you know once somebody's this religion somebody's that religion that obviously doesn't really click with us right and we hope it doesn't click with most people <laughs> yeah and i got something to say about that when we get into that um, and then also minutes. the the and i'm hoping this changes in india as well and i think it has from this time at least the, the husband and wife can't show affection in front of people <laughs> It depends on where you go. It depends India. on where you go. It depends on where you go. Bombay, Bombay now you can probably Oh, go. forget it. Yeah. The, the place where you could show affection in public, not just as a married but couple. But it still hasn't changed fully. No, no, no. It hasn't changed fully, but like... But it's better um, than it is here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you're... Not just for a married couple, but even just a couple together yeah. to show affection in some way. I remember when I uploaded a video in of, of Indrani and I in Calcutta were walking on the street and as we were filming, I just... She said something really cute and I wanted to mm -hmm. give her a little kiss while we were walking. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of comments on that video about don't do that. Show your significant other affection. Don't care what other people think. Well, that's why I kissed her. Yeah. So yeah. I, 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 don't, I, I get it. It's, yeah. it's cultural, but it's dumb. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> I, you know, I'm not going to say you, you have to do it, but I think if you want to do it, do it and don't care what anybody thinks. Well, That's what I'm gonna and say. it also, there's also another aspect of that of, I, we weren't, um, we wouldn't be flagrantly uh, doing something to provoke people. Example, when I got off the plane in Calcutta for the first time, because of showing signs of affection is not a very common thing, especially if the person isn't Indian. When I arrived at the airport to see her, my natural inclination seeing her for the first time was mm. to give her a hug okay. and a kiss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But because I didn't want to do anything that was disrespectful to where I was at the time, mm. you know, when in Rome kind of thing, I, I said, is it okay if I give you in mid-sentence she just gave me a, a kiss? Good. Yeah. So, but yeah, to us, yeah, it's, it's, to, we, it's, you know, we, it's strange. We've seen a lot of films, so we get it. <laughs> yeah. But, but still, it's yeah, very strange. It's, it's, it's strange. But yeah, they. I thought you know, let's talk about the main two first. Um, I, I love their little love story. Love their love story. Um, I thought it was adorable. They, yeah. The way they started it out and kind of you were, built, built it up. You were even okay with it being like love at first sight. Like I love you. Like it's just basically this. Marry me. You were okay with I've it? I've gotten used to that. Okay, great. Because I, you know, I love that. <laughs> I've gotten used to that. Um, <laughs> over, you know, the almost two years now that we've been right. watching it. So it's films, okay with you now. So I'm like, okay. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Good. It doesn't actually happen, but okay. Um, 
Uh, but the um, I thought both of them did a really really good job mm -hmm. um, in in their performances. Yep. Um, and I thought their uh, the whole supporting cast. Yep. Did a really good job. Like um, Mitty Rom, obviously, I thought did a phenomenal job, especially towards the end. Oh man, and, you know, which was we'll talk <sighs> both about, of we'll them talk about in in that time the emotional but the fact um, when their kids are, are lost and, and the emotional uh that hit me weight. harder now than i probably would have if we watched it over a year ago i bet um obviously for yeah obvious reasons yeah <laughs> but i was like i can't even imagine yeah <laughs> like i i would i'd be like okay yeah burn me fine that's fine <laughs> yeah exactly burn me i don't i have no or that moment and i really i really did when they got the kids and started to pour gasoline on them, oh, I really did think we were about to see them burn yeah, off so in front did of I. him. Yeah, that was that was some the way they did like the the riots was phenomenal. Fantastic. The director did the riot parts unbelievably it, well because it did stuff which I'm imagining at this time in Indian cinema wasn't done. Showing kids almost getting burned alive. Very graphic for the day. Uh, a child walking without parents just crying down the street. The, the one moment, and they really did a great job, the little kid who was covered in blood and mm -hmm. is crying, you believe he's in pain. And very yeah, graphic. They, they did a really good job with, I mean, obviously having kids in it really yeah. helps because everybody's like, nobody wants to see a kid get and, hurt. And kudos to, to the direction of the kids. Yeah. Because they did a great job. It's even like the reunion of the brothers mm -hmm. was. There was one. There was one moment where I was like, "Okay, they told them to do this." They did, which was like the little yes. Yeah, exactly. Like, okay, okay, that was that, that was fine, whatever. But, but still, uh, other than that, I thought they did a really, really good job. Me too. Uh, so hats off to uh, Mani Ram in that because I thought that was probably the most powerful because it really took a twist on you. Mm -hmm. Obviously, because you thought, okay, this is just going to be a nice love story. Right. And then I was like, and is this the riots we saw in Black Friday? Or are these different riots? These are different. These are different riots. Yeah. These are the Muslim Hindu riots. Yes. Okay. At least that's, I believe that's, this is a different riot. So correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think they're the same as portrayed in Black that Friday. That is, um, if, if these, if this was accurate to what it was, that was, that's always intense. Mm-hmm. What was going on mm -hmm. at that time mm -hmm. um, is it was like it was almost hard to believe like I feel like if you showed this to some people they'd be like that didn't that really happen did it well yeah to some and but, but those who understand the tensions between Muslims, Muslims and Hindus, Hindus throughout history yeah. all over the world would know I mean in Saudi Arabia they publicly behead you yeah so uh, yeah but I thought especially um, there was oh, I I don't know if I really liked the ending, ending, unless it's true, I guess. <laughs> uh, the, 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 we're all in this together. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> that part, I, like, I was like, eh, well, I, knew, I, I knew you wouldn't. I was like, okay, I get why you're doing it. Okay, right. Okay, okay let's it's, move on. It's cinematic. Right. Everybody's kumbaya. It's right. all over. I was like, but that did not happen. Yeah. I, I, I can almost guarantee that no, it was, scenario. I would have been fine if like, you know, it kind of dispersed and then they, they ended with like the family reunion. Yeah. But I thought it was a little much. It was. Uh, it was. <laughs> the hand in hand. Because. Unless it actually happened. You can tell me if it did. I don't know. Because it was such a grounded film yeah. and so graphic. Mm -hmm. And I know how, mm -hmm. um, how mm -hmm. much, one of my favorite things about Indians, it's weird. It's a double-edged sword. I, it, it, I love how emotional Indians are mm -hmm. because on the one hand, their love is overflowing. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah. When you go into like the hatred, it can get really, really bad. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just there's no. The great thing is there's no lukewarm. No, there's no lukewarm. Not at all. Uh, and I thought you might have a problem with that too. Now, yeah. I throughout whether it's the love story or then it's later on in the rioting, what we have thematically throughout is this tension that I know you're going to feel the same way. Whether we were watching it on a, a smaller level with just their relationship and their families, mm -hmm. or we saw it on a larger level in the city with just mobs of people, yeah. this whole intolerance and violence of people groups against each other because they have different beliefs is mind-numbingly painful to watch. Yeah. Uh, 
at, at, on both levels. It's hard to watch, and it, it happens everywhere throughout history. Right. It's it's not exclusive to Muslims and Hindus. No, no it's, or it's, Indians. Or Indians. Not at all. It's, it's universal. Humans. Yep. Uh, like to blame another set of humans. Yep. Uh, <laughs> for whatever reason. Uh, but I thought if 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 you guys can tell us, and I'm assuming it is because this film is so so popular, that they did a good job depicting those times. I think so. Because it, yes. felt, it felt like I was watching at certain parts, kind of like Black Friday, like a documentary almost. Right. Especially during the riot part. Well, the important thing to do with it, and I think he did a fantastic job, is when you're depicting two people groups like this fighting about each other's beliefs and ideologies, right? Yeah. It's really easy to do two things. It's really easy to pick a side yeah. and not tell it objectively. Yeah. And I don't think he did that. I felt like he gave both sides adequate space and adequate representation so that you could say, you know, I don't agree with you, but I understand why you're why that's happening. Wait, the, the, the speech by, um, say his name? Uh, Arvind Swami, in yeah. the circle? Yeah, in the circle, when he's telling, he's like, you stop, stop killing each other, basically, that yeah. whole speech at the end. Yeah. Uh, and I that thought, song. Yeah, and that song, the, the whole speech that he was giving, um, uh, or was it at the end? Yeah. It was at the end. Uh-huh. Or was, it was also in the, in the middle. He too. had two speeches, but his big one is at the end. The big one at the end where he was basically telling what probably all the audience is thinking. Yeah. Essentially. Um, I thought it was great. I thought his performance was great. I thought the writing of it was really good and powerful. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I didn't... There were certain points... Uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe if this was an Anya Rikashi up film that I thought... Like either the kids were going to get on fire. Right. Or, or something. Or like right. at the end, like it was going to like... He was gonna set himself on fire. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. Um, Kashyap would have done it. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> uh, the kids would have been set on fire. Yeah. Yeah. Which, oh my god, I thought it was gonna happen. Yeah, I'm so glad it didn't, because, yeah. you know, my, I like the happy endings. Yeah, and also, um, like, the, the how, what, what goes through your mind with a group of a grown men coming up on children? Well, here's. Here's what's mind boggling. And I'm assuming that was true because there was the entire hospital of children. Oh, yeah, there's, the, yeah, all oh my stars, yes. Like, how can it's oh. It's happening in the world right now as yeah. we speak. I yeah. mean, we just talk about how many children in Syria are dying. Um, at the border of. Yeah, you know, it's, 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 it's happening everywhere. But I, the th it's, it alluded to this in the song. He said it in his speech. And it, it brought up that for as much as they have the disagreements and the tensions ideologically and religiously and culturally, What's astonishing to me is none of the scriptures, whether they are coming from the, the Hindu beliefs or from the Quran, unless they're really interpreted and in a very bizarre way, advocate for the killing of another person. Yeah. And that's pointed out in the songs and it's pointed out in his speech. Yeah. And I, this may be an unfair comparison, but like, for example, there's, I checked, there's roughly between two and three million Hindus in America, and between three and four million Muslims. I think that number's low. I bet there's more than that. Probably. But the point being is, you don't have those kinds of violent outbreaks in the United States between the people groups. Yeah. My suspicion is that people who are outside of America would look at them and say, well, they're, they're not really practicing Hindus and practicing Muslims. If they were, the tensions would be greater. I don't know. I just know it's heartbreaking and confounding to me to see differences of belief result in something as atrocious as killing another human being. Like the part that, one of the parts that broke my heart the most, I get emotional thinking about it right now. Mm. When the grandpa is walking with one of the boys and he sees the Muslims coming and the little boy's first instinct is so, to wipe the stripes off of grandpa's forehead. That, that for me, that whole scene was really good. When the other father came and saved them as well. Yeah, and said, he's one of us, brothers. He's one of us. And that moment of him saying, of the, the, the Hindu man looking at his, the Muslim man and him realizing what he just did and realizing they both reached a place where before they wanted to kill each other, mm -hmm. that they now consider each other family because of the love of these two people. I also love the cuteness of... The conversation between the two of them and the kids. kids that yeah, was, that was a cute. Yeah, it was, was definitely. Sh cute. Should I become a Muslim? No, you don't have to. And I thought that was adorable. Yeah, and let's talk about uh, Rahman's score. <laughs> because what, what's there to say? I mean, I'm glad because now I can actually listen to this. 
I've just had it here. I haven't opened it since we've gotten it because obviously we hadn't watched it. Yeah, we didn't want to. I don't want to spoil the songs. Um, But man, because we've seen what two, maybe two or three. three. I can't remember uh, from this. And obviously they were fantastic, but obviously they were even better. Much better this. in the film, uh, yeah. And obviously with the context of everything going on, it was just gorgeous. Mm-hmm. This is, and I can see why people consider this and Roja um, his best. Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't know. I'd have to sit down and think if I think this is his best or not. It's worth. It's in the discussion. Oh, it's definitely one hundred percent. I'd have to sit down and actually uh, uh, look it over. And but. as is, I'll tell you. I remember when when he walks into the room with all of the dead people because he's trying to find his boys. Yeah. Right? And all of that, um, all of the um, background people that were there doing that work. And right now, that was the point of the, they're showing the riots and it's epic and it's big. I remember thinking as he walked in, I remember thinking, 1995, Tamil cinema. Dang. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Dang. Awesome. Yeah. Just freaking awesome because that that is something that I would have said for Hindi cinema, which at the time, you know, Hindi slash Bollywood has been the internationally known face of Indian cinema. So the lesser known industries, I I genuinely did not know, and I'm sure there's a whole lot more that Tamil cinema was making something this epic and this well done on a large scale. Yeah. That. Uh, I'm just deeply impressed. Yeah, deeply impressed. Yeah, everything about the film, I thought it was really it felt like a, a classic as you're watching it. It is. Um, it's a it's an instant classic for uh, sure. It's it's one of those that you can just appreciate, especially for the time that it came out. Or yeah. The, the message it was sending. Yep. The the just and the quality of the acting, directing, writing, score, everything about it uh, was really really good. And my heart goes out to anybody because. I get messages, I'm sure you do too, I get messages from stupid babies who are facing this kind of situation. I, I've had long conversations with some who, the one girl, she's Muslim, mm-hmm. and the guy is Hindu, mm-hmm. and just straight up said they don't see how it's gonna work. Not because they're not in love with each other and not because they don't wanna make it work, but because the pressure they have from their families is so extraordinary and they're, they know they have a choice to make. It's each other and never be with your family again because you'll be disowned to the point of you're actually risking your life or stay connected to family and live. It's, it's That's just, awful. It's just, just awful. If, if you're a family member of somebody who's doing, like if, you, if you're going to disown for a religious reason, that's just as bad as if I came home with a black woman and my family was like, no, you can't marry somebody of that kind. Right. It's just as stupid and awful. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can have your own beliefs, religious beliefs, and you can do what you want to do. But that's discrimination, and it's wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's discriminatory, and they're forced obedience. I'm sorry if you don't like that opinion. Well, well because, <laughs> it's true, because a forced obedience isn't an obedience. It's a totalitarian oppression. Yeah. Like, for my own children... There are particular things I would like for them to go do and be and believe in that I've lived my life and discovered, right? Well, if they make choices opposite of what I believe, I'm not going to change my love for them or my acceptance of them, even if I disagree with the direction they're going with their life. That's not going to change my love and acceptance of them because for me, and I know you, you're the same thing, the highest level expression of any belief system is going to be the expression of unconditional love. Yep. But the moment you start to put rules on it that say, I'll love you if, the minute you add the if, it's become conditional. Same thing when people disown their children for being gay or for right. being trans or for being whatever. Right. It's, it boggles my mind. Yeah. I, I love the line. I could never imagine not being in Leland's life because of something he does. Right. <laughs> no, I, I, I know. Or believes. Yeah. Like if he suddenly had a, a, a spiritual belief system yeah. that you don't believe is the healthiest thing for him to believe... Okay, I trust he's gonna go the direction he's gonna go. That's gonna lead. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. No, and I love the moment he was concerned about the boys, and she said, "Well, he'll be blessed by two gods." Yeah, I thought that was, was really adorable. adorable. So I thought that 
everything the writing directing producing oh, the it's the way up there for composition me, yeah. way up there for me it's phenomenal beautiful so, movie let us know what other classics we should react to in tamil uh, uh, or the next Tamil film we should watch. And as any well. anything that uh, Manisha is in besides Dilse, because <laughs> I loved her in this. I literally at points couldn't take my eyes off her on the screen. She you was did great. My Dilsa favorite well. part of this, not really. <laughs> He's an idiot. Anyways, let us know what we should watch and review next.